What's going on guys? This is Burris. I have a video here for you today talking about Crown Holsters. I was in the market for a Glock 19 with TLR1 light uh, holster and came across uh, Crown Holsters. And I'm here to tell you today, you know, these guys are definitely making some good products over there at Crown. A lot of people will go to the big time guys, you know, like Raven, Bravo, etc. And they'll wait for, you know, a long time to get it made because you know, they can only make it, you know, so many at a time. So you gotta go elsewhere if you wanna get something, you know, a little bit sooner. And Crown Holsters, definitely a good maker of holsters. Um, and let me tell you why. I have two holsters here uh, that I had them make me. And this is for a, a 1911, and this one's for my Glock 19. When you're looking at holsters, there's a few things you should look for. Number one is retention. Now, on this Glock 19 with the TLR One light, it's a little light on the retention if you don't have it holstered. Let me explain why. If you get a holster that is really tight before you put it in a belt and put it on yourself, when this thing belays out a little bit, when this comes out, you see that? And this is what happens with your natural body. It gets tighter. This Glock 19 one is a little light on tension. Does it hold it? Yeah, it does hold it. But I mean, if you're gonna shake it around, it will come out a little bit. It's just not gonna do it what's on camera because it's gonna, okay, there we go. You'll see it will come out. But when you have this on and around you and your belt is tight, the tension is perfect on this. And that's what you're gonna look for. You're gonna look for tension that's gonna be not super tight, but not super loose. You're gonna find something in between to where if you fall over, if you roll over, if you go to the ground, it's gonna stay there. But when you go to grab it, you're going to be able to take it out with, uh, with you know, good, um, easy access, whatever word you want to use. But, you know, you don't want something that's just going to fall right out. But when you put this on, perfect retention. When it comes to their craftsmanship, that's, in my opinion, second to none. And what you're going to see here is, you'll see a lot of holster makers that will keep this open. They won't blend this together. They won't melt this together, the front and back piece of the Kydex. Here at Crown, they do melt this. Um, now on this one, they don't have any drainage or anything which I'd like to see, but they don't. Um, but on the Glock 19, you do have a, for the light there, you have a little bit of a drainage hole. But you'll see on both of these holsters that they blend this all together. They melt it and blend it together. Just something you don't see. And before P the safety sally start freaking out, all these guns have been safety checked before we start the video. Anyway, what you're gonna see here, the one complaint I do have, and this is something that is not normal for them, and actually I talked to Chris over there at Crown Holsters, um, is this little loop up right here. And you'll see it on this one as well. And what that does is it, it interferes, it could interfere with your unholstering the weapon. When you come in here, you can see there, the only thing that's there is basically one millimeter of space between the holster and your hand giving you a very small, if not zero, margin for error in getting your gun out. Uh, you can see the same thing here. Now I talked to them about it, and when you look at the pictures on the website, this actually is not like this. This is more of a straight line right here. So I'm not sure why this is this way. Um, they said they'd fix it for me if I went ahead and sent it back there. So I'm not worried about that at all, but it's just something that shows their, their customer service, and that's something you have to look for. If you go to a place and they're unwilling to talk to you and get back to you or either they're too busy to do such a thing, it's a sign that possibly the customer service couldn't be there, something could slip through the cracks, you know. If you really want something custom, you know, this place is definitely going to do it for you. Um, I've at least unholstered this one uh, or drawn from this holster right here at least 400 times in the past month, well, a month, month and a half, something like that. I've gone to the range with this, um, you know, first shot placement, I ran through a couple boxes of 9mm, I mean that's 200, 250 rounds, um, 250 draws right there. And, you know, this thing, not, I mean, if you look at the fasteners on these, um, attention to detail, yet again, you know, the fasteners are top notch, and on this one, which I've used more than 1911 because I, I carry the, the Glock 19 ferociously 
um, and, and the most, you know, there's wear marks on the screws and maybe some of the hardware on the, the holster, but nothing's coming loose. Nothing's loosening at all. And that's the mark of a true, um, you know, good holster. You know, these loops not coming loose at all, um, and that's great. When you look at the loops, the belt loops, you know, top notch, really wide. You're looking probably about a half half inch of uh, of a loop here, half to three quarter probably. And you know, if this is a one and a half. Very good tolerances when it comes to the belt loops. You know, this is 1.5 inches. These are 1.75 inch loops. Um, you know, when you ask for certain things, you're going to get it here and you're going to get it precise. And, you know, there's really not a lot I can even say that needs improved on this with the exception of this part right here. Other than that, there really is nothing else they can, you know, do. And quite frankly, I'm not sure why this is this way, but it is. But the way their other ones look on the website, they're not. So I'm thinking that was probably fluke. You're looking at $50 for a non-light and $60 for a lighted one. Uh, they have tons of colors there. I was looking for a coyote brown. That's what this is. I was looking for an OD-ish color, which is what this is for the, the 1911. And they really came through, and they really did a great job on uh, these holsters. And, you know, if you're looking for something that you're going to get a ton quicker than going to a big shop like Bravo, Raven, etc., etc., uh, I think Crown Holsters will definitely get the job done for you. And they uh, stand behind their product for the entire life. Now, in these holsters, he was using the uh, .06 Kydex, which is pretty much the thinnest, thinnest you'd want to use when it comes to a Kydex. So, you might not get the longevity out of this that you would with like a .08, um, but, you know, it's definitely going to be a little bit thinner, it's going to be a little bit uh, quicker, uh, when I say quicker, but it's going to be a, l a little bit slicker, but yeah. Good stuff that they're doing over there at Crown. I can't say really anything bad about them. I'll go ahead and put their links down below there for you guys so you can check them out. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know or let them know. Uh, links down below. If you guys have one or you've interacted with Crown before, go ahead and put it in the comments. Or uh, video responses are always welcome. And until next time, later.